Hello, class. Welcome to Connect Ed. Today, we will take a deep dive into the desert and also brush up our writing and vocabulary skills. What do you mean by landforms? A landform is a natural or artificial feature of the solid surface of the earth. There are mainly five types of landforms, mountains, plateaus, plains, deserts, and rivers. In today's class, we will be learning about deserts. A desert is a barren area of landscape where little precipitation occurs and consequently living conditions are hostile for plant and animal life. So, shall we read the chapter? Can someone read it for the class? Now we will recall what we have learned. The popular belief is that it is an endless stretch of sand where there is no rainfall and vegetation. It is difficult to live in a desert if we are from a region covered with forests and surrounded by hills. Most of the desert area is hot, dry, and waterless without shelter. But some areas are very beautiful, and a variety of people, animals, and plants live under this very hot and dry condition. During rain, which is very rare, Desert flowers bloom and the sight can be as rewarding as that of any tropical garden. Now let's move on to the next two paragraphs. Someone else, please continue. Good. Let's go in deep. A desert is not always flat. You can see mountains, hills, etc. In between the desert, you can find different sizes of oases. What is an oasis class? Very good. An oasis is like a green island in the middle of a desert where a spring or a well gives plants and tree a better chance to grow. A desert can be as hot as Thar or as cold as Ladakh. In general, a place with little or no water and vegetation can be called a desert in general. Some deserts are completely without water. Strong winds flow in such areas, causing the rise of heaps of sand and depositing them as mounds called as sand dunes. These sand dunes keep shifting through the desert, making it unsuitable for most of the plants to grow. Next paragraph. Animals and plants living in the desert can survive in very little water. The camel known as the ship of the desert cab drinks a lot of water at a time and they can live without water for days together. The reason for that is that they sweat less. Unlike humans who sweat during hot days to keep our body temperature cool and constant, camels can withstand high temperatures. As a reason, they don't sweat and retain the water they drink for days. In the case of other animals, small animals do not drink water. They burrow underground during daytime and come out during night. Some of the animals who feed on other animals get water from moisture from meat, while plant-eating animals get it from plant juice. Let's move on to the last part. Very good. Let me conclude. In the case of desert plants, they adapt to the life they lead through many ways. Like for in cactus plants, they store water in their thick stems. Their roots lie close to the surface in order to absorb moisture quickly in case of light rain that falls occasionally. The main features common for desert include dryness and variation in temperature. In the case of humid climate, the moisture in the air acts like a blanket and protects the Earth's surface from the hot rays of sun. This is absent in desert, causing the desert to heat up rapidly and cool off at night. Deserts are equally important as dense forests and deep oceans, and we shouldn't underestimate it as a useless part of Earth just because of its hot and dry nature. Is it clear, everyone? It is more like a documentary than a story. 
Documentary means talking about facts that consist of official documents. Now we will do the following. I will give you two minutes. Time's up. Now we will discuss the answers. I hope everyone got it right. Now we will solve some questions. First, I want you all to try and then I will show you the answer to cross check. Okay, cool. You have five minutes to do it, and it starts now. Time's up. Let's discuss the answers now. So I hope now that you have a brief idea about the desert. I want you all to write all that you've learned about the desert in your journal. Along with it, include the lifestyle of people living in these areas. What did they eat, dress, etc. Since it takes time, let's make it as a homework. It should be minimum one to two pages or approximately 200 words. So let's discuss it tomorrow. With this, we are finishing today's class. Does anyone have any doubt? Good. So thank you and see you all next time.